Hi everyone, in this series of tutorials I want to give you some advice to speed up your laptop, especially for music production. Generally, it can be divided into two categories, in Windows improvements and the hardwares, which includes RAM, CPU and SSD hard disk. Please note that you can't upgrade the CPU of your laptop and upgrading RAM and hard disk fairly depends on your laptop. If your system is upgradable, you can do it to its maximum capacity. So, before we get started, please check what kind of SSD your laptop supports. The best way is to open your laptop and check. Some laptops support SATA 3 and some support M2 port, which is way faster. In this video, I want to install a SSD and keep using the HDD. My laptop is ASUS P2540UV, but it's absolutely straightforward and you could apply it to your own laptop. Alright, let's begin. This is the SSD I bought, it's ADATA SU650. What we also need are a caddy. I'll show you how to determine the size of the caddy later. And two screwdrivers, flathead and Phillips. First of all, take the battery off. Remove the screws from the bottom of your laptop. Take off the first plate. As you can see, the HDD hard drive is in the right side and the RAMs are in the left side of the laptop. Unscrew any screw from your HDD and smoothly remove it. Unscrew the cover of it as well. This is my HDD. Replace the SSD to the cover. Now remove any retaining screw. Remove the primary plate using the flathead screwdriver.
don't forget to disconnect the cable. Remove the DVD driver. This is how you determine the size of the caddy. We have two kinds, 12.7 and 9.5 mm. You can easily measure it with a ruler. For me it's about 9.5 mm. Don't forget to remove this part, we'll need it for the caddy. This is the size of the caddy. Open it. And remove its cover. Place the HDD into it. Tighten the screws. Replace this DVD part to the caddy. Be patient, it's a little hard. Connect the caddy to the port. You may have to bend the metal.
connecte SSD smoothly. Close the plate and done. Also remember to reconnect this cable. You could replace the bottom part of the DVD driver, but I keep the caddy as you can see. Congratulations, you do it by yourself. Hit like and subscribe.